Mazel tov to all of the Misaimim. It's a wonderful thing to learn Rambam. Here in the Yeshiva, Rab Salvechik only, when he learned Gemara, he would basically just give a Gemara, Rashi, Taisus, and the Rambam. He said, we have Rashi, Taisus, and the Rambam on all of Shas. The other Bishani, we don't have them on all of Shas. So you don't know how they're going to explain the other Gemara. They contradict this Gemara. But Rambam is the same as Rashi and Taisus. You have on all of Shas. So it's Kedai always to look in Rambam. I'll just say a brief to our Torah which is very significant from Rav Salavechik on the Rambam. The Rambam has an Iker. We believe that HaKadosh Baruch ain't lo t'muna. Ki lo irisim kol t'muna. Ein lo guf, ein lo masigi ha How do you understand the Posik when the Chumash speaks about Moshe Rabbeinu? It says, it's t'muna Hashem yabit. He saw the image of Hashem. There is no t'muna Hashem. What does it mean? So I think the Pshat is, the Ramam has two Ikari Ramuna. One is we believe in the Vua, and one is we believe in the Vua. Moshe Abbeinu is a higher level than that of the other Nevi'im. Moshe Abbeinu was Adon Hanavim. What do you mean Adon Hanavim? You give Moshe Abbeinu an A plus, and Yeshaya gets an A, and Yirmiya gets an A minus, and Yechezko gets a B plus. What is he giving a grade? So Absalvechi can explain he's not giving a grade. It means the same as what the Ramam wrote, the other Ikari Ramuna. The laws of the Torah never change. Why should the laws never change? The world keeps on changing. So what's so bad if the Rebbe were given a Vua to change? So I so actually pointed out that both the Balatanya and Rabbi Chaim Valojana say the same thing. That the Torah is not merely a collection of dinim. If you take Kola Terakula, all the Tariyak mitzvahs together is a description of Elukus. So since uh, the Rabbi says, on the Hashem lo shanisi, the Rabbi Shalom's essence doesn't change. Shamimela. So Satar lo simochlefet, the laws of the Torah cannot change. So when the Rambam says, HaKadosh Baruch has no goof, certainly has no goof. When he says, Moshe Abbeinu, Spunas Hashem Yabid, means Moshe Abbeinu is the only one who is given the Torah, which is a description of Elokus. Rashi Chumash quotes, the Medrash, and the Rashi and Parshish Mishpatim quotes the Medrash, that one who kills Bishagik has to run to the Ari Miklat. You don't give many punishment, serious punishment, because of the king mean Aliyah, it wasn't his fault. So Rashi asks, so why does he have to go to the Ari Miklat? He quotes the whole Medrash. The Medrash says on the Pasuk, Kashayem HaMashal HaKadmoni Merishoyim Yetzei Resha. What in the Marshal HaKadmoni, an ancient proverb from, from Confucius? So then Rashi quotes Medrash, no, the Kadmani is the Rabban Shalom, he's the ancient one. He was there before the world existed, before he created the world. Amashal HaKadmani is the Torah, and it says in the Torah, Megag HaMachoy Ba'adei Chai Ba'zech is Chus HaYudei Zakai. He must have done some Avera in the past that they picked him in HaShemayim, he should be the Shliach Leroa, the killless person Mishogi. So that's this Pasuk. Amashal HaKadmani is the Chumish, and that's that Pasuk, Kalakim Min Aliyadei. So why is the Chumash referred to as a Moshal HaKadmoni? So the Chavetz Chaim explains that Torah is a Moshal of Elokus. Kol HaTarakula, if you put together all the Tariyag Mitzvahs, it's a Moshal of Elokus. As the Rav Salvechik used to say, that's the Teretz on the Menchaschinos Kasha. Menchaschinach has the Kasha, Oiv al Divrei Novi, is Chai Misa V'day Shamayim, Nu. So Moshe Abbeinu given on Novi. So Moshe Abbeinu said, you're not allowed to talk Loshon Hara. So whoever talks Loshon Hara is Chai Misa V'day Shamayim. Person misses my Krishna, is Chai Misa B'day Shamayim. Anything, anything you violate that Moshe Abbeinu said is over Adi Novi. So the Menhas Chinech is Takashi. He doesn't give a good Teretz. So Rav Salvechik suggested, I think now that's the standard Teretz that the, all the Rabbanim assume. Rav Salvechik suggested many years ago that that's the Teretz. Over Adi Novi means when Moshe Abbeinu said everyone should knock on the next on neighbor's doors on Erev Pesach and ask for Matanis, that's a Hayra Shah. Or Moshe Rabbeinu said, people should, leave, should not leave over the month till the next morning, that's Ohi Rosho. So whoever violates Ohi Rosho, that's Ohi Rabbeinu, not Vichai Misa B'day Shammai. But whenever Moshe Rabbeinu said it didn't, that's Noig Lederis, that's not called Ohi Rabbeinu, that's Ohi Rabbeinu Der Isa. So the din of Misa B'day Shammai doesn't apply. So when we say that Moshe Rabbeinu, that don't Hanavim, we don't mean that he gets an A plus and the others get an A minus. It means that Moshe Rabbeinu is the only Novi who sometimes is given description of Elokus, Tzmunas Hashem Yabit. Moshe Rabbeinu also got Nevuah, Rasha, like the other Nevim. That's the same as the other Nevim. Moshe Rabbeinu is the only Novi who, who also got Tzmunas Hashem Yabit, got mitzvahs and anoyed with 
because that those mitzvahs all add up together to give a description of Elokus. We should all be mamshech vaita for many years to come in good health to learn more Rambams. The Rambams explain the Gemara. The Rambam doesn't stand alone. The Rambam always has a pshat and the Gemara. It's very important to learn Rambams. And the yeshivas, they spend a lot of time on all the Rambams. Mazel tov.